All right, peace and love to the saints who are watching this video. I want to start off by giving all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son. But wait a minute. What is His name? What is the name of the Most High? Let's get to it. So we see here in Exodus 20 and verse 7, which is part of the Ten Commandments, right? Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. But what is his name? What does he mean by that? Because if you read the rest of it, sorry, if you read the rest of it, he said we shouldn't take his name in vain, but it, did, but it didn't tell us what his name was. Until Revelation 19. Watch this. Revelation 19 in verse 13, right? Give me some, man. I'm going to read out the King James. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. So his name is the Word. <laughs> I'm sorry. His name is the Word of God. Right? But did, does that really give you clarification? No. Let's keep going into this, right? So I'm going to go to John 1. And I'm going to start at verse 1. I'm going to read. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. So we're talking about the Word, which is the name, right? So in the beginning was the name, which is the Word, and the name was with God. And the name was God, or the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So here we go. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So I'm going to continue reading. And the light shineth in the darkness, or the life shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Now, I did a lesson on darkness and light already, um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to speed that up. Read Isaiah 5 and verse number 20, I want to say, and you can see um, the parables or the similitudes or the metaphors or whatever you want to word it of light and darkness, right? You got righteousness, you got wickedness, you got awake, and then you got sleep. I mean, it's just, you know. But for the sake of this video, you got life and you got death. If you read Isaiah 5 and 20. But let's continue. So in him was life. That's what I want to key in on. In the life was the light of man. The life was the light of man. What are we talking about right here? The word. So the word is the light of men. Right, and now we already got that one. Now I want to go to First John. I hope you're following me right now. So the word is the name. The name is the word. The word is the life of men. This is First John one. I'm gonna start from the top. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled the word of life. Check that out. So the word is life. For the life, there it is again, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it. And bear witness and show unto you that eternal life 
which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. So the word is eternal life at that. So who was with the Father in the beginning? Eternal life. And God was eternal life. I hope you guys are following me right now. Right? But let's continue. We're going to get more into that. Right? We're going to get more into that. So, uh, I can keep reading in this chapter. Um, let me skip down a little bit. Let me go to verse 5. This then is the message we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. So God is light, which God is a spirit. So and in him is no darkness at all. So God is life and in him is no darkness at all. So let's skip the news. I think that's all I want. Okay, no. I'm going to read until verse 7. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. In the blood of the Messiah, his son cleanseth us from all sin so his son is that light too right his son is in that light and his son was that light which is life right but uh let's continue now i want to go to let's see where do i want to go now now that you know what the word is I, if you don't know by now the word is life now we're gonna break down what that truly means right um i'm here in first corinthians but i don't want to go there yet i think right now i want to go here right i want to go here now there's a bunch of but it's one I want I want in particular. Matter of fact, I'll go here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go to John 6 and verse 63. So this is the words of the Messiah, which is the word, right? Which is life. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Now quickeneth means makes you alive. It is the spirit that makes you alive. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak, take that out. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are life. So the words that the Messiah spoke was spirit and were life. I mean, it's self-explanatory. The word is life. But the words that the Messiah also is speaking are spirits. Now, let's break that down if you're following me. So, in the beginning, you have the word, which was what? Life. And it was with the Most High. And the word was the Most High. Right? But let's break this down. Let's go to, I want to go to, uh, no, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians 12 first. I'll go to 1 Corinthians 12. We're going to break this down if you're still following with me. Just bear with me. This, uh, I think you guys will enjoy this one if you keep up. Now, 1 Corinthians 12. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Now, now we're talking about spiritual gifts. Um, I'm going to skip down. 
verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. What spirit that are we talking about right here? We're talking about in chapter 3. I mean, in verse 3, it says, Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God. So we're talking about the Spirit of God right now. Calleth the Messiah accursed in that no man can say that the Messiah is the Master, but by the Holy Ghost. So right here, we're talking about the Holy Spirit. Now, there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit, right? It's different gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, there are differences of administration, but the same master. And there are uh, diversities of operation, but it's the same God, which is the same spirit, which worketh all in all. But the manifestation, now manifestation are the things that you can see, right? But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Now, manifestation also means other things. But let's continue for the sake of this video. For to one is given the spirit of the word of wisdom. Now, what did he say in John 6, 63? These words I speak are spirit. They are life. Now we're breaking down the words that the Messiah is speaking. These words that the Messiah is speaking are gifts right the gifts the word that the most high spoke was life so and from life you have gifts of life i hope you're following me right because that's what this is saying right here spiritual gifts we're gonna break it down some more though if you're confused so is one spirit right one god and his different gifts of the spirit for to one is given by the spirit of the word of wisdom to another one the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the work of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirit to another diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but all these work is that one and the self same spirit divided to every man several as he will. For as the body is one and has many members and all members of that one body being many are one body. Um, so also is the Messiah. Take that out. So you have life, the word, the name. And you have many members of life, different things pertaining to life right for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body whether we be jews or gentiles whether we be bond or free and have all been made to drink into one spirit check that out so you got life and then you got the gifts of life or the different members of life the things that make up life Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right? And not only that, but then you have fruits of the gifts. But we, for the sake of this video, we won't even get into that yet. Now, I want to go into uh, Romans 5, right? I hope you guys are following me. I hope this all makes sense now. Now, when you read, you might read it in a different way. Now that you know what it's saying. Now I want to go to verse 17. Check this out. For if by one man, or if one, so I'm sorry. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace. Now grace is a spiritual gift, right? That's a gift of life. Now, life is the word, right? And the word was with the most high. All right. Abundance of grace and of the gift. Check that out. And of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one. 
What's that one? The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Messiah, which is life. Right? So, if there's many gifts of life, these gifts are of life, so they are life. Remember John 16, 63, these words I speak are spirits, they are life. So, if somebody has spiritual wisdom of the Messiah, they are the Messiah, because they are life. I hope that made sense. Now, we just broke down the word in the name, and we just broke down the life. And we just broke down the gifts of the life, I'm sorry, the members. Check that out. Um, I yield on that. I could go super deep into that. But uh, now I want to go to, we're going to be talking about the Father some more here. Because we know that the Messiah is the Son, right? So how can he be the Son and the Most High? They said the Son, the Word was God. I know why, uh, I think earlier in this video I said the Word was the Most High. But I meant to say the Word was God. Because God is a Spirit, according to John 4 and 24. But check this out. But we got to figure out what the Most High, what, what, is, what is this? This is 1 Timothy 1 and verse 17. Now, until the... I'll scroll up and show you. 1 Timothy 1, verse 17. Now, unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God or spirit or light, be honor and glory forever and ever. So, check that out. The king eternal, immortal, invisible. It's talking about the most high. Right? If you don't believe me, check this out. Really quick. Colossians 1 and 15. This is talking about the Messiah, right? Colossians 1 and 15, who is the image of the invisible God. So that's the most high. The most high is the invisible God, the invisible spirit, the invisible light. And the Messiah is the image of him. He's the word of him. He's the name of him. The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. Remember John 1 and 1 said the same thing. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible. Remember I said manifestation means things that you can see. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Check that out. For it pleased, this is verse 19. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Check that out. So, the Father is the invisible God. The, uh, the King Eternal, the immortal one. Right? Remember, he is life. That's why I said in the beginning was life. And God, okay, you, you, I keep reiterating it. I don't want to mess it up though, but you can go back and read John 1. I don't want to mess up the scripture. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you see, he is the image of the invisible God, who, which we just read about in 1 Timothy 1 and 17. King, eternal, immortal, right? Now check this out. Where do I want to go now? I want to go to Romans 8 and verse 29. Because the Son of God is the Messiah, right? Which would be the Word. 
this will be the name but what about remember we just talked about the gifts of God what about what are the gifts of God right which we we know we say faith wisdom knowledge prophecy these are the gifts but let me go into more detail real quick check this out verse 29 for whom he did for no let me start at 28 so you get a little bit or i'm gonna start at 27 so you can get a little bit more context and he's that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of god so this is talking about the messiah right who's making intercession for us all right now verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love god to them who are the called according to his purpose verse 29 i'm gonna highlight this for whom he did for no he also did predestinate am i in romans 8 or romans 9 let me keep keep reading for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the first more first born among many brethren so check that out be conformed to the image of his son check that out conform to the so his gifts are the image of his son which is who the messiah so his gifts are the image of the messiah and the messiah is the image of the most high Does that makes sense now the word is life so the word instead of saying the word i'm gonna just say life so you have a life then you have the gifts of life which are the image of life which are, which are the members, which is faith, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, love, truth, you know, faith. These are gifts of the Most High. Grace, peace, all these things are gifts. Um, I hope I broke this down pretty well. I want to get another piece up. Before I go, uh, let's see. I don't have a note. I don't have a note or anything, so I'm kind of just being led by the spirit. I think it's here. Um, let's see. Um, for he received the from the God, the Father, the glory on it. For we have not followed cunningly and devised favor when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Master. Yeah, that's not what I want, but that's a powerful precept. I know what I want. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Romans 1 and 20. For the invisible things of him, who's the invisible God? The most high. From the creation of the world, who created the world? Life was would be the Son of God are clearly seen manifested being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power in godhead so that they are without excuse his eternal power so the most high is also what eternal power check that out and watch this First Corinthians. I want to go to First Corinthians. Let's see if I got it pulled up. 
This is First Corinthians four. I'll show you. First Corinthians four, and then I'm gonna end the video, right? First Corinthians four. Uh, let's see. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Why did I bring that up? There was also something else in First Corinthians before I forget. Verse thirteen. Um, am I thinking of First Corinthians? Our hand being loud, right? Now. You have not many. I forgot it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I got mixed up. It's not First Corinthians four and thirteen, but I did want First Corinthians four and nineteen, and I'm gonna show you why. But I will come into you shortly, if the Lord will, and will know not the speech of them that are puff up, but the power. Why is he mentioning power? I just told you a while ago, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Now this is why this is why I came here. Right? This is why I came here. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Now I'm gonna go to Luke and I'm gonna go to chapter 17. I'm gonna go to verse, I wanna say, I'm gonna just start at verse 20. Check this out. This is the Messiah. You see the red letters. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. So this is remember the kingdom of God is not in word, but with power. Next verse. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So the power is within you already. Why? Because you are, if you're a saint, then you already are a gift of life. What's the gift of life? A gift of the Messiah, who is the image of the Most High, who has been given the power by the Most High, because it's the Most High that gives out the powers. Let me get that in Romans 13. Romans 13. And then I'm going to wrap up for real. Romans 13. Right? Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Check that out. So the Most High ordained the Messiah, which is the eternal life, with eternal power. Now, eternal life has eternal power, and the gifts of life receive that power from the Messiah. All praise to the Most High. I hope you understand this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I could go super in-depth. Even more than I already have. I did this in only 28 minutes. All through the spirit. All through the gift that was bestowed in me. And I hope that I'm sowing some, you know, some spiritual gifts to you all. Hopefully the most high water and increase. Because it's him that gives the power to do so. And I'm out.